Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Kat. Hey, Bruce. I, I love getting warmed up with a good conversation. Oh, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just yap <laughs> away while they're getting the mics warmed up, and yeah, it's, just, yeah. it's a treat. <laughs> well, besides coming down to the Bodacious Bazaar, what'd you end up doing? Oh, this my weekend? gosh. Well, that was, I mean, that was one of the highlights of my weekend. I was really happy to see one of my fellow board members on the film festival, Sue, her grandson's visiting oh, yeah. the summer. He's Play the violin. Yeah, yeah little violin. That. Well, he is, he's been playing the violin for about eight years. He's very, very good. Did he yeah, only do one song? Yeah. No, he did three songs. Okay, because yeah. I had to walk down. He yeah, no, stuff. he yeah. played incredibly, okay. and it was just like such a treat to see. I heard it, and yeah. yeah, no, like I was just like, you go. And it sounds like he's going to be doing some performance for the Summer Cabaret coming up on Saturday, which See is going to be. I know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And he, I, was, I was like, do you want a buddy? And he was like, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I do. Well, That's well, great. Excellent. Come help us out. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, we've been doing rehearsals and getting our tech uh, prepped and stuff for, for the cabaret. Oh, and busy. Yeah, I saw the lights in the, the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, to, for, for, like, reference, like, we live in a tiny, a very small cottage. Like, And the biggest room in the house is our master bedroom, and we needed to set up some trust. So I was like... I guess we're setting it up in our bedroom. But it looks funny. <laughs> I know. And I I'm just like, okay, guys, come, on, come, like, on, yeah. guys, come on, Yeah, yeah. I was just like, I'm sorry. When I get a studio to work out of, I'll be super, super happy. Yeah. But that is just... It was classic. And, and we, we Jay said he just posts it, man. He's good. <laughs> we do what we can with what we have. What That's right. You got yeah. These. yeah. Hey. But yeah, the summer cabarets sold out. Oh, like yeah, that that's list. what I heard. Yep. Yes. So yeah, we're super excited for Saturday. It's oh, going to be a great time. Is it... Yeah, that's this... That is Saturday, the 29th. Okay, yes, yeah. right. Okay, uh-huh, beautiful, uh-huh. beautiful. Yep. 100% sold out. You can see it yep. in the inside of Southern Oregon. Yes, indeed. Mm-hmm. That's very cool, yeah. Yeah, with me and Gina, yeah, we did the Bodacious Bazaar, you know, and it was great. A lot of people turned out down there, so we had a good time, and P.A. and T-Roy played, mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. they invited people to come play, so it was like they actually showed up and played, so mm-hmm. it was really awesome, yeah, yeah, so we had a good time. Yeah, it was fantastic, and then, of course, after I do an event like that, it's like, what are you doing on Sunday? Absolutely nothing. But I did. I actually worked on the paper so I could, yeah, mm-hmm. be free this week. But, yes. work. but I, you know, I watched the race and I got to do what I haven't done in a while. So it was really nice. So we had a beautiful weekend. It was great. Mm-hmm. And I hope everybody out there had some fun and I hope you came down and saw us at the Bodacious Bazaar. And uh, yeah, you know, we got a lot of events coming up this summer. So as per usual, so there we go on that. Yeah, before we get going here with the rest of the show and telling you all the other fine things going on, we got to thank the Oregon South Coast Fisherman, otherwise known as the Castaways, to me, uh, Just the Jeweler, and the Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report. And if you'd like to sponsor our show or one of the other fine shows at KCIW, just go to kciw.org and you will be on your way. And speaking of these Oregon South Coast fishermen, we got our favorite castaway on board here, Mr. Dave Keene with the Fishing Report. What is going out in them waters? Besides you. Besides you. (laughs) (laughs) Well, oh, by the way, I had a fun time at the Bodacious Bazaar. It it was great having you and the fishermen there. Thanks. Yeah, Yeah, we all enjoyed it. Yeah. Good, good, Good time. (laughs) <laughs> uh, hey, there's lots going on with fishing, and we're going to have some good weather starting tomorrow. It's been like it's been a little tough to get out, but when you do, or when we can, we've been doing uh, had some success. What are we catching? You may ask. Is that what you're asking? I'm asking. Okay. What are you catching? Oh, yes. Just for the halibut. Oh, uh, uh, that is one of them. <laughs> That's true. I like it. Uh, yeah. So Pacific halibut. Uh, when you uh, get get out there, that uh, very few have been brought in. So we're anxious to start bringing some cow. That looks like get big around here. Oh, yeah. We'll get some, that 80-pound range. A friend of mine shot a 103-pounder last year. So we're just anxious to start getting out. In fact, starting Wednesday, I'll be going out for cow, the Pacific halibut. And then after that, you catch your halibut, you can start trolling for salmon. So then you know, that's available too. Uh, Hatchery Coho and Chinook are out there waiting to be caught. So that's another thing. Oh, right. Uh, the California halibut are starting to show up. So that's that's a, another opportunity to fish, and that's where you you fish fairly shallow, just like just off Sport Haven Beach. Uh-huh. You'll see boats trolling along, oh, like yeah. that's just outside the waves. Yeah, I've seen. Uh, or down at Winchuck, the, those are good places okay. to to catch and snag a California halibut. So uh, we're looking for that, and the bottom fish, of course, you get your two ling cod, five rockfish. But starting Monday, July first, Cabazon will open up, so okay. we'll be able to keep a Cabazon. 
That's another prehistoric looking fish. Oh, Link, yeah. Link cod and cabazon are. Yeah, I know what they look like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Big. Well, yeah. Link cod have big, sharp teeth. Mm-hmm. Cabazon don't because they eat primarily crab. So they just got really fine teeth, but you don't get your finger in their mouth because they there's strength in the mouth. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh, okay. They're, they're yeah. very strong. Uh, let's see. Surf perch. People are catching some great surf perch and uh, getting out for crab. Uh, you name it. Everything's pretty much open right now, so we're anxious to get out and, and get her done, bring back some fish. We, you guys got a meeting coming? We really do. Not till July 17th. Oh, okay. So, so that's, that's, that's about, that'll well, happen. Oh, we are also going to start our, our Checo River saning project. Mm-hmm. We'll, we help ODFW do that. If we have a saning tomorrow morning, then we'll have four more spread out for the next couple months. And what we do is we go down to the launch ramp, put a boat in that has a net, and we help uh, spread the net out. We pull the net in. We, we capture the salmon smolt, we measure them, count them, and put them back in. So it's a way to determine how the run is going to be. Oh, yeah, you guys do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, That's a good deal. So we're looking, deal. looking forward to doing that as well. So you heard of the saber-toothed salmon? Yeah. Prehistoric? It's a prehistoric salmon. They call it a saber-toothed salmon because they thought the original the teeth came out of the front, but they actually come out more like a um, warthog, you know, like a little hog out there out the side, tusks, more like tusks. But they call it a saber-toothed salmon eight foot of salmon baby can you imagine a bear back then catching one of those or bringing that in feed the (laughs) dead feed the clan for a month Uh i mean but yeah Yeah. i did an article on it uh, for my creature feature next month it's because of slamming salmon coming up oh good yeah i thought you'd appreciate that thank you wicked looking fish and you know what they ate Uh they were all that wicked hell on tea plankton no. Yes. <laughs> they hmm. Just like the big whale does, you know? Yeah, that's what they did. Yeah. It's a so, good storyline. I like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I, I wrote a whole big thing on it. It's pretty interesting, but they were wicked looking too. Yeah. Yeah. And you did mention the Slam and Salmon. That's right. We have that coming up. Yeah. So we'll help support that. Our fishing club will help yeah, support. Yeah, you'll be with us down there. Uh, Michelle and Chrissy and the gang and, you yeah. know, what, July 5th, 6th, and 7th, I believe. Yeah. We'll run. do the sky high first thing. I got a whole thing on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, we'll always, see you around. Always good having you on board there, brother. And uh, you and Mary Lee. It's going to be dancing here again today, aren't you? Well, I have, you didn't see, but I have a bum foot. Oh, you got a bum foot. I hurt my Achilles tendon, and I like to say it was catching a big fish or yeah. wrestling a bear, but it, I heard it line dancing a month ago. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so don't tell anybody. Comes out. <laughs> oh, yeah, your secret's safe. Yeah, yeah your secret's safe. Yeah. 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 I'm going to go visit today, though. That I heard I missed, so I'm going to go okay. say hi. Yeah, okay. Listen to music. I guess it has been a little bit from last time we had you on. Yeah. Right. Well, take care, Dave. Thanks a lot, and for all you guys do out there, too, for the fishing community. Appreciate oh. it. Well, thank you, Bruce, and thank you, Kat. Good to see you. Good to see you. Always yeah. support the Oregon mm-hmm. South Coast Fisherman, yeah. All right, that was great. Good time. Yeah, club food. <laughs> oh, All man. right, always good to have the fishing report on board here. Yeah, he's been That's out so there. Weird. I've been seeing his Facebook post. He's been catching some fish out there like crazy. Well, at least he's able to fish. That's right. Can't dance. The hands are fine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. We got a little bit of a music schedule here left, so let's get going. Yeah, there's a little bit left in June. To finish things off in June at the Travel Organ Welcome Center, music there starting at 2 p.m., on the 29th, it's going to be Danielle Duran and Nathan Stone. That's a vocalist and guitar duo. Yes, indeed. And then Cisco, he'll be playing on the 26th at the Checo Activity Center from 11 to 1. And then on the 29th, it'll be the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. All right. And over at the Elk Valley Casino at the Betty Green Event Center, music there starting at 8. On the 29th, it's going to be comedian Lindsay Glazer. And over at their Warriors Bar and Grill on the 28th and the 29th, it's going to be Steve Nelson. Yes, indeedy. And then Long Goddard is back in the house. And on the 26th, he'll be at the Coon Tie from 6 to 8. And then the Mighty Steelheads are playing on the 29th at Port of Pints in Crescent City. Music there starting at 7.30. And at Inateca, they got on the 28th, the Way Outs at 8 p.m. And on the 29th, Stephanie Latour and the Reverbs at 8 p.m. All right. And then we have a summer concert in Azalea Park happening on June 30th. It's going to be Afro Blue Grass Band starting at 3 p.m. Yeah, that throws them off when they do that Wednesday one. Because oh, everybody yeah. thinks that this is Sunday because they're like, there wasn't a concert in the park. I go, it's not till next it's Sunday. Sunday. So, yeah, it's yeah. It's fine. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah, just, just roll with it. Check the yeah. calendar. That's okay. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at some events happening at the Checo Library in Brookings. To start things off with their weekly events, on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they have story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. 
And then on Saturdays at 2 p.m., this is running through mid-July here, they've got a creative writing class with Blake Allwood. This is a free weekly class on the creative writing process. And then for some monthly and special events happening through the end of June, on June 26th at 5.30 p.m., they're going to have tide pooling and beach combing on the Curry Coast. You can join Bill Gorham for an educational talk about taking good care of our tide pools and beaches and get tips for safe tide pooling and beach combing in our area. That sounds fun. And yeah, yeah. Now it's really informative. Yeah. Yeah. And then on June 27th at 4 p.m., they have their monthly Lego Club. Lego builders of all ages are invited to an open building session in the library's youth section. And all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card. For more information, you can visit checkcolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can follow them for updates on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. Yeah, that's it. It's winding down here, but... Thanks July to you, Kat. You gave me a July calendar, so next week we'll yeah. be right back up I'm there. Talking again. about all the summer reading that's going on, Ooh. that's in full swing. So, I, yep, more and more special events coming up then in July. And I got it all there waiting for us. Yep, yep, yep. Hey, the Barefoot Beach Bookie at Crescent Beach at Entrance Beach Road in Crescent City is going on on the 26th, 11 a.m. Say, get ready, kick your cheese off, feel the sand between your toes, and dance the day away at the Barefoot Beach Boogie a bit. You can experience nature and boogie to some positive beats with a park ranger and people in the community of all ages and abilities. They will also practice the dance move they made up called the Sand Dollar Shuffle. Everyone will be invited to move their bodies freely to the music at their own ability. Scarfs, poise spinning, ribbon wands, hula hoops, and other toys will be available to encourage movement. Be inspired by bubbles, be silly, have fun, make new friends, and learn something new. An interpretive park ranger will teach you about some cool stuff when they aren't too busy dancing. There will be light refreshments will be provided to recharge your dancing energy, stay hydrated, and enjoy the fresh flavored water taste test. You can rethink your drink activity with flavored water ideas for all palates, sweet, tangy, herbal, tropical, which includes a smoothie bike for a watermelon cooler. Participants can stop at the hydration station and take a ride through water flavors and vote on their favorite. So whether you're a seasoned dancer or just looking to groove on some tunes, the event is perfect for everyone. So there you go. They say pack a picnic and get ready to boogie down. All right. And now it's time for quotes from famous people with Cousin Bruce. Yeah, hey, here are a few quotes from a song and dance actor, Josephine Baker. She was born June 3rd, 1906. She says, the things we truly love stay with us always, locked in our hearts as long as life remains. She says, all my life I have maintained that people of the world can learn to live together in peace if they are not brought up in prejudice. And then surely the day will come when color means nothing more than the skin tone, when religion is seen uniquely as a way to speak one's souls, and when birthplaces have the weight of a throw of a dice and all men are born free, when understanding breeds love and brotherhood. I like that one. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, she goes, I wasn't really naked. (laughs) I simply didn't have any clothes on. (laughs) Me or my. Getting used to my toy. (laughs) (laughs) Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from uh, Josephine Baker uh, with Cousin Bruce. Till next week. Have a great one. Yeah, that one's like a a long buildup. It's like in the last few few words there, you got to hit that button to get that drum roll started. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's all the timing. Timing is everything. All right. Hey, Three Penny Theater Co. is having a summer cabaret on June 29th, and we're just making an announcement here on the air that actually the seats for this are all completely sold out, and they are taking names for a wait list, though, in case there are cancellations. So if you are interested, do feel free to get in touch. The summer cabaret features an evening of live performances from their finest array of local actors, dancers, singers, comedians, and musicians from Three Penny Theater Co., all complemented by a bottomless seafood dinner from the chefs at the Activity Center. The ticket includes all-you-can-eat fish and chips, a soup and salad, a lemon bar dessert, as well as a complimentary beverage of your choice, that's beer, wine, or soda. And then they're also going to have a bar for expanded drink options and signature cocktails or extra proceeds from that benefiting the activity center and the theater. And doors open, dinner services start at 5.30, entertainment starts at 6. Again, the proceeds from this event are directly benefiting the Checo Activity Center, which is home to Brookings Harbor's Meals on Wheels program. They're also benefiting Three Penny Theater Co., the newest live theater troupe on the Wild Rivers Coast. Again, and there's currently a wait list for that. The cancellations do happen. So if you're interested in getting on that wait list, you can get in touch with the director of that event, Jason Liddell, by giving him a call at 541-251-0640 or sending an email to contact at threepennytheater.com. You can also get in touch with them on Facebook and Instagram.
Must feel good. Yeah. <laughs> Sold out. Don't you like that? Yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah it's really, it. really good. Yeah, yeah. You, you never know. Sometimes cancellations do happen. They're doing that I'm right now gonna... for the fur ball at Humane Society. So yeah, 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 it wouldn't hurt for somebody to hit you up. Totally. Towards yep. the time when it gets close. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. All if goes they really for a good cause. Go. Yep. So so by all means get in touch. Yes indeed. Mm-hmm. Otherwise next time you best buy your tickets early. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They're doing some good stuff over there. And be high. <laughs> Hey, Go Forth on the Road Festival and Fireworks Show will be going on at the Port of Gold Beach on the 4th of July, of course. All right. And then Crescent City Cultural Center on 1001 Front Street is having a 4th of July Arts and Crafts Fair. So this actually starts on July 3rd, going from noon to 7 p.m., and then on the 4th of July from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. And during that event, there's going to be a special raffle for an original oil on canvas painting by artist Carol Long. And for more information about this event, you can call 707-460-1414. Yep. And hey, Elk Valley Casino is presenting our own homegirl, Jessie G. She'll be coming on uh, July 6th, born in Brookings, Oregon, into a lineage of coastal commercial fisherman Jessie G's roots run deep. Jessie's voice is unmistakable country. Tickets are on sale now in person at the Points Club booth or online at etix.com and in advance on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 p.m. with the show starting at 8, must be 21 years older to attend, and seating is a first-comes, first-served basis. All righty. Now it's time for a bit of weird history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Right. G'day, cat. G'day, mates. Bushwhacker Bruce here, and welcome this week's bit of weird history for your knowledge pleasure. Did you know... We got two animal-related stories that are weird, to say the least. It's true, and here's the story. In the annals of British eccentricity, the story of Sir Francis Dashwood, the toad-eaten baronet, stands out as a curious and peculiar chapter. Sir Francis, a prominent 18th century figure, was known for his unconventional and often outrageous behavior. His most notorious quirk involved hosting strange gatherings known as the Dilettante Society, where members were encouraged to consume toads as a form of amusement. This bizarre practice earned him the moniker the toad-eaten baronet and cemented his reputation as one of the most eccentric noblemen of his time. And also in the peaceful San Juan Islands, located between the United States and Canada, an absurd dispute over a stray pig in 1859 escalated into an international crisis. Dubbed the Pig War, the strange conflict saw American and British troops stationed on opposite sides of the island poised for potential battle. The real issue, however, was a territorial sovereignty. Both nations claimed the island as their own, and the accidentally shooting of a British pig owned by an American settler triggered the standoff. Well, remarkably, cooler heads prevailed, and the situation was eventually resolved through diplomatic negotiations rather than bloodshed. Well, all I can say is barons and toads and pigs. Oh, my. <laughs> all righty. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this week's Bear Weird History with yours truly, Bushwhacker Bruce. Until next time, keep it real, but always keep it weird. Diplomacy. <laughs> yeah, diplomacy always comes through, I'm telling you. I'm my preferred method. Yeah, well, I'm yeah, a lot less lives are lost that yeah, way. Exactly, exactly. I'm a big fan. <laughs> hey, Legends Arcade, located at 16378 Lower Harbor Road, is presenting their first ever Pog Tournament. This is going to be on the 13th of July, and you can join Legends Arcade for their first Pog Tournament. Each registrant will receive a slammer and a series of Pogs to play with. There is a registration fee. They ask, are you going to be their first Pog champion? That's very cool. That's- do you know the game? So I remember collecting Pogs when I was but uh, slam, like and, and a like, child of the 90s, but I never played Pogs. I have no idea how to play. I know it was a game you could play, but I just collected them because I thought they were okay, cute. Okay, because they have slammers <laughs> and they do something I with it. I know yeah, nothing I, about I, it, but it was a whole thing that apparently I was just a little too young to understand how it worked, okay. and I just thought they were pretty and collected They were cool, them. though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the Pokemon <laughs> yeah, went crazy. Like the, the I think they were cards. one of the first ones, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. Deep. old school. Cool. Yeah, old school stuff. Yeah, very old school. Cool. Ah, you know, legends—they're doing stuff like that all the time. Mm-hmm. It's very cool. Mm-hmm. Hey, the Insider of Southern Oregon Vince, thank you very much. Presents the Sky High Fourth of July and the Slam and Salmon. The first one is on the fourth from ten a.m. to eight p.m. Enjoy a day at the port, leading up to the Love Your Fourth fireworks display. Local vendors, food, beer garden, live music, kids' activities, and fun for the whole family. 
Then, on the 5th, 6th, and 7th, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. every day, we have the Slam and Salmon Fish and Derby slash Festival. The Brookings Harbor High School Anglers Club has teamed up with the Insider Events to bring you their biggest fundraiser of the year. This fishing derby festival not only has prizes for the fishing categories, but also local vendors, food, live music, beer garden, kids' activities. Good times for the entire family. There you go. All right. Four days for us. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's a long weekend for you down there. <laughs> hey, the Lucky 7 Casino is presenting music by Brittany Kellogg. This is happening July 12th at 8 p.m. And Brittany Kellogg is coming to Lucky 7 Casino Hotel for a live performance in the Talua Event Center. And tickets are on sale for pre-sale as well as the day of the show. Doors open at 7 p.m. The show starts at 8, and you have to be 21 or older to attend. Yep. And then we're going to slide into a slightly different event here. There's going to be a children's event happening at Trinity Church at 1200 Easy Street. The Vacation Bible School theme is Christmas in July. And then it's running from the 15th through the 19th of July. The program runs from 9 a.m. to noon every day. And this is for kids up to the sixth grade. Features games, songs, play, crafts, fun. It's free for everyone who participates. And you can register at www.ticbrookings.org. Or by giving them a call, you can call them at 541-469-3411. Yes, indeed. And then we got the Bigfoot Blues Fest. That's right. This will be our third year going on there. They'll be happening on July 27th and 28th. Saturday, it's 10 a.m. to 9. Sunday, it's 10 a.m. to 6. It's Blues on the Boardwalk. Local vendors, food, beer garden, live music, kids' activities. That's how we roll. Yeah, that's, that's, that's just that's the, the thing that we do now. Yeah. That's what we do. <laughs> that's what we've been doing. <laughs> hey, the Relay for Life is happening on the 20th of July at 6 p.m. and then on the 21st at noon. And this Relay for Life is taking place again on the 20th and 21st at the Del Norte High School track. Now is the time if you want to get your team organized and begin fundraising for that. They are still searching for volunteers to help make sure this event's successful. If you'd like to get involved, you can call or text the chair of the planning committee if you're able to give time or would like to sponsor this event. And if you want to get in touch, you can contact Chelsea by phone or by text at 707-951-9154. Yep, and as we mentioned earlier, the South Coast Humane Society is presenting the Furball 2024 at the Brookings Elks Lodge. This is happening on July 27th, 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. They have dinner, cocktails, dancing, costume contests, live auction, silent auction, and more. It is sold out, but you can check, as we said, as it gets near, uh, see if there's any cancellations. For the info and times, you can call 760 Two one three two zero zero. Once again, you know people do cancel out. Uh, that is always a possibility. All right. Hey, the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach is having an ongoing event called Memory Cafe Curry. Memory Cafe Curry meets the third Wednesday of every month from ten thirty a.m. to noon. That's at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, you can email memorycafe at cplib.net, or you can give them a call at five four one. Two four seven seven two four six. A memory cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss as well as their care partners. Care partners may include but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners an opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, as well as library staff and volunteers. Yep, and KCIW Soapbox Series is still going on here at KCIW. is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. few rules, of course. No cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. All right. And over at the Whimsical Griffin, located at 615 Checo Avenue near the Redwood Theater, they have game nights happening every week on Tuesdays and Fridays. They run from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And their game nights feature Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and a variety of board games. Yep. And I always like to get this one in. Meals on Wheels is always looking for volunteers. Meals on Wheels are needing volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals daily to seniors that can't get to the checkout activity for their daily meals served there. 
They have a harbor route and a brookings route. This is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. Please contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. And it's just a wonderful thing to do this. And if you're out there and you really want to do something for the community, that's the thing to do right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Anything for ending yes. hunger, man. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, it's a good cause. That's a good cause. All right. The Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America are currently scouting for new troop members. This is an ongoing thing. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults who are interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from fifth grade through age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at the Scout Hall from 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except for holidays. You can come meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And to get in touch with Troop 32 Scoutmaster, that's Mark Hagland, you can call 541-661-2749. Or to get in touch with Troop 4032 Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, you can call 707-951-3647. Yeah, we got time for one more here. The Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue. In Brookings, the gallery features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Stop by and enjoy all what's new in the gallery, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and then 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday. For more information on the class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, you can call 541-469-7900 or visit them at Facebook at Wrights Custom framing and that's it we all done it here i gotta tell you i forgot you know the one thing about doing a play yeah when i did the grinch yeah i couldn't even stay for the cast party because tim poor kid they got this old boy sick i was down for the count did i got sick, and they got me this time too my gosh but oh, Lord. i had that little crud for like a week and oh, everything no. i got and the allergies are already kicking my butt you know right mm-hmm. now but it was like geez that's that stuff adorable. Was, that just was not dishes. nice. Yeah, yeah, that wasn't no. nice at all. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. The allergies are like nothing now. I just yeah. take a pill for them things. But yeah, geez. Uh, oh, you poor thing. <laughs> anybody out there that dealt with that, I feel for you. I was in your corner. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. So, hey, well, that's it. It's time to close out this week's show. I give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work. Make us look and sound good on the radio. Hey, and thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. Please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can also catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. Hey, while you're there, check out the crazy live streaming we got going on as well. Hey, until next week, this is uh, Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. We are signing off, so please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.